I have not seen this um, him before, so I'm not sure who he plays. But um, Crown says he does play Peach, so ready to see how this works out for him. Cool. I'm not really familiar with Crown either, so uh, I'm not sure who he plays either. What is this? What round is this, Arian? Winners. Uh, oh, okay. Losers three. Losers two. All right, so this is losers round two. All right. Time to see the big reveal of their characters after this. <laughs> After more intermission. Now, I think he's a more newer um, player to the Source Gaming Lounge. So, he has to set up everything, blah, blah, blah. I, oh, trust me, up. I understand. I, I have to do all the same things. Yeah. I also got a... Okay. Oh, okay. Also, uh, rocking that pro controller. One of the cool things of Smash Four players is how many controller uh, options you have. Yeah, but you have to watch out for it right now because in some areas they are banning the pro controller. Yeah, because of reasons. Yeah, well, mostly it just clunky. But nonetheless, it's very cool that you have a lot of options in terms of uh, what comfort you can play with in terms of your controller in this game. Yeah. The other part is um, a bunch of they complain that um, the um, the players weren't disconnecting the controller from right. the setup, so it was messing up a bunch of games. Yeah. Having that third player in, indeed. So it looks like we're finally done with our setup of controls and whatnot. As one player picks a playlist, the other one. All right, Crown going with Peach. Yep, and. It's gonna be a, a Charizard. Charizard! Oh my lord. <laughs> Crown not like the most pleased with that choice. <laughs> First a duck hunt, and now a Charizard? What red line is this? Oh my god. Yes, we need a Pikachu very badly. Oh my god, the down, uh, down throws are doing nice little so much 33% bread and butter right there. Off of just really two reads, just the, the oh grab reads. Oh god, he's doing perfect with these grabs. He is taking so much stage, stage control right I'm now. I'm really sad that back air was on a dare. That would have been yep. 5% ending. All right, so the Peach really trying to figure out how to like get a game going here, not really uh, connecting with turn of game, and uh, trying to, I guess, bait him into the air, it seems. Can jump with, like full hops and oh. floats. Charizard's looking for that back oh. air. If he gets that back air, it's going to be a good kill. Oh, Ooh. there's the first one. Too, um, too far, though. Getting... Oh, my God. Oh, catches him with that up B. One of the oh, most, the super armor of the rock smash. One of the most frustrating upbees to deal with in a lot of uh, senses is Peach's upbee because she has some really deceiving hitboxes as she's grabbing the ledge. Yep. Another part that Charizard has to watch out for when he recovers is the way he is facing when he does his upbeat because he goes more at angle when he upbees. Yeah. So if he does that at the wrong angle, he will not get back to stage. So the Charizard, as we reached 100%, showed like very uncomfortable, uh, very uncomfortable the approach whatsoever. Now that the game is on the line, I wonder if uh, Crown will take advantage of that moving forward. I think so, but he has to watch oh, out. Oh, that super armor that, again! Yeah, and that will kill with all that rage and damage on Crown. Oh <laughs> my God! The cute little. Oh my God! It kills. Yeah, so he got him in a good little, uh, little walk up to him and then did a quick up smash to cover the jump and then still had a good chance to roar back air. Did he just walk up and up smash him? <laughs> I believe he did. <laughs> oh, still All trying right. trying to get his good, uh, his little dare started because it's going to be his best damage uh, right out the gate. Um, isn't getting the float though. And um, um Charizard has um, come come back really well with these smash attacks, yeah. but it decided not go. to go with any more grabs for some reason. 
Oh, good grab. Ooh. Good, good Crown is just catching him with these lips. Oh. Um, Crown, Crown, super, <laughs> Crown's super lucky he didn't get punished for that uh, platform landing. Bear? Oh. Why hit the shield with that turnip? So kind of the same thing we oh. saw in the first stock. They're just kind of running back and forth from one another, uh, waiting for the one person to make no, the committal no. mistake. Oh, good, that good double there. That shield pressure is so yeah. much. Ooh. Oh, that good air dodge. That would have killed him. I bet, the Char I bet the Charz is going to pull out a side B here shortly. Oh, he has Haven't seen, seen one yet. Not going to kill. Oh, no. So, some options down there? Nope. Nope. Oh. Oh, good. Luckily, the, luckily for the Peach, they both rolled. Oh. Bot dodge. Oh. And two. Uh, oh, yeah, he if you waited for the platform, oh, no, you would get the kill. DI. Good DI. That was still really close. Woo! Good um, booty bump. I didn't think that was going to work. I thought that was going to clank it. Oh, and Mr. Saturn. Oh, he oh. throws it away. Oh, my God. That would have been perfect for him right now. Uh, too much damage on that dare to get any combo out of any up kill. there to steal it. If he would have just waited a second longer for the platform to come to him, he would have got that kill. It's true. So I think... Uh, oh, my God. I think uh, Zarin's main effort he's gonna have to get is really just how is he gonna clear his stocks out? Yeah, definitely. Because uh, if he if he doesn't figure out a way to comfortably get in Peach's face, oh, or just go to Greninja. <laughs> we got a Pokemon master right now. All right. Well, let's see what kind of tricks he has with his Greninja. Well, you know this matchup a lot more, so. I do. I mean, it's mostly 50-50 in either favor, um, but Greninja has some good options to cover above him, so Peach going to have a hard time harassing that way. Um, it really depends on, you know, how skilled the Greninja is and if he plays, you know, more of a zoner or if he plays more of an aggro. The other part that I see um, that Crown is very vulnerable on is his um, ledge approach option with the, um, the Parasol. Yeah, so number one rule, I guess I would say against Greninja is you don't want to eat forward air. Forward air does 14% uh, not staled at all, and then 12 at its uh, maximum stale. It's got its best range, and it also kills. Uh, so Greninja is actually going to get the most mileage out of that fair. Oh, and then he's going to use that up smash a lot to cover the the high options, like when uh, Peach gets above him with a dare um, and things along those natures. But he, he hasn't really put any strings yet uh, together, but he's done a good job at just doing damage and getting out, not letting the Peach get on top of him. Yep. Um, right now, I just see him try to poke in, get some damage in. Yep. He's, he's just waiting until that time he's like, okay, now I can get the kill. But as you guys kind of said in uh, Kaze's game, the problem with that with Peach is that how easy Peach can do damage um, in general. So, like, it's kind of a false sense of comfort that you have, like, a, a lead because she can just kind of rip you off, especially Greninja. Oh, very nicely done with the Shadow Snake. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That was definitely an accident. Uh, that would have worked, but uh, the, the he, flunk he on the upbeat. let him get back to stage like that? <laughs> Wow. Oh, runs into that uh, dare. Oh my god. He's just so scared of that. Oh. Oh. So you you cannot jump off stage and do neutral air with Greninja. Um, especially if you get any sort of fastball, you will immediately die. And that was sick. Oh. oh. Very nicely done by Going Crown. Ham. He started the foot still combo, but he kind of let it drag. Oh, oh, and no. we got it. We got SDs on both sides, so. All right. I mean, he got a little extra credit, but let's see what um, Crown can do with it. Oh, and yeah, he's running into that bait from the Peach. Oh. I mean, what the the good thing about uh, Greninja is that if he catches a good neutral air, he can rip off a footstool combo of his own that'll make this game even, or actually it'll probably put him in in the advantage by like five ten percent. Well, you're giving a lot of credit to this um, this player or to know about the foot soul combo. <laughs> well, I mean, regardless, it's uh, it's what he can do for the potential of the character. Yeah. Um, as well as Peach doesn't really want to play, in, in my opinion, this uh, zone game with Greninja. Greninja's Shuriken is far superior um, and his mobility to get around the turnip versus Peach's mobility to get around the Shuriken. Yep. 
Uh, but she already has the lead, so she can kind of do whatever she wants in a, like a big one. Um, as well as Greninja has been kind of baited into a lot of options, like have taken all, all this damage. So uh, probably in his best nature to just zone out for a bit, force the aggression. I'd say the one thing that this Greninja needs to approach on is um, Crown's landing options. Because for the most part, they have not that been that good. Right. So like that one was a good example. Uh, that could have definitely been a forward smash versus an up smash because they got like only half the hit of it. Oh, good double fair. Oh, no. So right now, if um, if the Greninja lands a down tilt, he can uh, get a good up smash that'll kill, especially with the rage. Um, Crown can DI it, but uh, kind of very oh, sim no. kind of similar to Peach's down tilt to fair, but hers is true. <laughs> yeah. It's a very, it's option, very scary option for both of them right uh, now. That would have been a good option to get a down tilt in there on that float. Also, there's another uh, footstool combo unlocked for Greninja to Ooh, kill. Get the eye to get out of that um, dash attack. Yeah, oh, and then he catches now. that dash. Oh my god. It would also be good to see better options from the Greninja when he was above his opponent. He never dared or like tried to mix him up that way. Yeah. Um, there's plenty of ways you can mix up his timing of landing and uh, and dare like uh, actually leads into uh, two different um, footstool walks for KOs. So yeah, and I would have loved to see him switch up more options than just throw out the same attacks over and over and over again. Yeah, I mean, Greninja will kind of always have the basis of throwing fair because that's his best spacing tool um, and how much damage it does and kill power it has. But yes, the rest of it, uh, it could have been a little bit mixed up. Like I said, Dare is a great mix up to get above them and like bounce on their shield, uh, keep them uh, honest without just always chasing you to attack, so on and so forth. Yeah, and then Crown needs to work on his landing and that's about it. Yes, yeah. Uh, that uh, Well done on that combo you pulled off on that last stock. That was uh, very, very clean. All right, now most likely Caesar versus Zay. Yes, so Zay is a good friend of mine, um, a really good Fox player. I've actually been playing with his Fox since he picked it up. He was originally a Ness player, um, gotten tremendously better since then. Uh, he was telling me about the Sonic player. Uh, 